Today we're at the offices of Sahara, a South Asian referral and helpline agency. Cal Southern PsyD learners have worked here as supervised interns, where they hone their clinical skills as they accumulate pre-doctoral hours toward licensure in California as a clinical psychologist. Sahara was founded in 1991 and provides much needed services to the South Asian community, particularly in the area of domestic violence. Today, we'll talk to the executive director of Sahara and other staff members to learn more about the dedicated and innovative services they offer and to explore more deeply the issue of domestic violence. Sahara was founded in 1991 by five social workers and two physicians. The Sahara provides uh, linguistic and culturally sensitive support services to the South Asian community. And by that I don't mean just speaking the language or understanding the South Asian culture. We actually provide, um, I'd say more like a comfort zone where the multiple cultural experiences of the participants are understood. So the experience in their home country, the immigrant experience over here, and the American culture. Sahara consciously works uh, towards um, fulfilling the participants' needs to feel attached, to belong. Perhaps we come across more as an extended family. Although we have many programs with different names and acronyms, the end goal is uh, community health. When the organization first started, there was a lot of clients that had come from South Asia, their home countries, and were settling here, and they had these domestic violence type issues. Now we see that there are more older adults coming to the United States, perhaps to live with their children or take care of grandchildren, and they're facing different types of abuse. There's also a change because there are people now that have grown up in the United States with parents that immigrated, and they're growing up and getting married, and so there's a whole new generation of relationships and a different type of problem than maybe their parents had. Domestic abuse covers spiritual abuse, sexual abuse, mental, emotional, and physical abuse is, is one aspect of the different kinds of abuse that exist. The importance of having a place where people can walk in the door and immediately feel a sense of belonging. And oftentimes that just starts with, you understand my language and I don't have to explain who I am because I've come into a place where you already have a sense of what I've, what I've been a part of. This feeling of this is where I feel comfortable, this is where I'll be completely, completely understood, that relationship that goes beyond just providing services on one, at one instance. It's a continual relationship that goes on. Sarah has had a lot of positive impacts. I can sit here and tell you stories lot of positive stories and one day would not be enough to share all the stories. I remember when I started working here, my supervisor, she's also a founder of Sahara, she told me about Katie. We helped from womb to tomb and that year we had a client who, who delivered a baby at our shelter and that same year we had a senior citizen who passed away and we helped her with her religious rights of what's involved in Hindu cremation ceremony participants have found the strength again to love and to commit to our relationships. These are uh, people who were victims of violence at some point in time in their life or victims of abuse. And uh, they come to us and they say, would you give us away at our wedding? So that is the role that Sahara plays. That is the relationship that Sahara builds. I would say the two most important ways that community members can get involved is uh, one, to spread the word about Sahara. This is, for me, a community that does really well by word of mouth. This is a community that may perhaps otherwise not seek services, but if there's a trusted friend, someone who could say, Sahara is there for you, I know that that would be tremendous gains in executing our mission. The second part uh, is obviously financial support. I can share with you that although we've been very strategic about diversifying our funding source, our primary source of funding still is individual donors. Our goal is to very actively serve all of Southern California. And most importantly, I think, because we are so driven to create social change, outreach, community outreach opportunities. Those are the needs, the need to feel connected, the need um, where you're able to trust someone that 
this individual or this organization is going to completely believe in my well-being. Uh, those are the needs that we fulfill.